Ethiopia's intentions to diversify its ports. Hello and welcome. This is News Fest Addis, your daily source of news bites. Ethiopia recently said that it was looking into the possibilities of importing other cargo, including fertilizer, through Kenya's Lamu port. Ethiopia made the choice as a calculated strategic move to enhance and diversify its current marine connection to the sea via Djibouti. Apart from broadening Ethiopia's port accessibility, this action entails significant geopolitical ramifications that have the potential to alter regional dynamics. The complex ways in which Ethiopia uses Lamu port and the wider geopolitical ramifications of this. Remain with us. Being a landlocked country since 1991, the desire to have exits to sea has been the key strategic goal of Ethiopia. Although Lamu port has only recently started operations, Ethiopia has long advocated for its utilization. A group from Ethiopia visited the ports of Lamu and Mombasa on April 1, 2024, with the goal of gathering information and expressing hope about coming to an agreement with Kenya. It was a follow-up to the deal that the two nations had struck a month prior. During a bilateral meeting in March of this year, Nairobi assured Addis Ababa that the port of Lamu was operational, and the two nations decided to make it easier for Ethiopia to use the port to buy fertilizer. Ethiopia requested that Kenya re-evaluate tariffs as a means of easing the country's international cargo. In order to lessen its reliance on a single port for imports and exports, Ethiopia is interested in diversifying its port access through Lamu port. Recall that Djibouti has been the only source of Ethiopia's import and export trade since the end of the 1998-2000 Ethio-Eritrean War. Reports say that 95% of Ethiopia's external trade is carried through the port of Djibouti and Ethiopia pays between $1.50 and $2 billion annually for the port services. Ethiopia's reliance on Djibouti's port for practically all its imports and exports has proven a vulnerability, exposing the country to potential interruptions and constraints. Ethiopia now has a feasible option because to the growth and use of Lamu port which avoids the crowded port of Djibouti and provides a direct marine connection to the Indian Ocean. Diversity of partnerships occurs in addition to port access diversity. Ethiopia extends its network of strategic allies beyond Djibouti by using Lamu port. Ethiopia gains more diplomatic clout and regional clout from this decision, which also strengthens ties with Kenya and possibly other Lapset participating nations. Ethiopia will be able to distance itself from the current insecurities in the Red Sea by shifting towards Lamu port. There are now significant safety dangers for ships traveling through the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, including the possibility of attacks by Houthi terrorists in Yemen. Additionally, in order to guarantee the prompt and secure delivery of products, shipping companies are forced to look for alternate routes. Additionally, Using Lamu port encourages increased infrastructural development and regional economic cooperation. Recall that the wider Lamu port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport, Lapset, Corridor Project, which aims to create a comprehensive infrastructure network connecting Kenya, South Sudan, and Ethiopia, includes Lamu port as a major component. In addition to the port, this corridor is home to recently constructed pipelines, railroads, and roadways that will facilitate easier cross-border trade and transportation. With its anchor in Lamu port, the Lapset project is anticipated to boost economic development along the corridor and promote trade amongst member nations. The Horn of Africa's regional power balance will be impacted by Ethiopia's maneuvers towards Lamu port. In an effort to draw more maritime facilities for landlocked states, it will increase rivalry among the coastal nations in the area. Currently, Djibouti holds a leading position in the marine trade of the region. Kenya stands to gain economically greatly from increasing trade via Lamu port. Kenya's status as a regional economic engine will be strengthened by closer business relations with Ethiopia. However, Ethiopia's decreased reliance on Djibouti's port might force Djibouti to re-evaluate its diplomatic and economic approaches. Djibouti's relationships with other regional and international entities will likewise be redefined by this change. To put it briefly, Ethiopia's utilization of Lamu port is a calculated action with significant geopolitical ramifications. Ethiopia will be able to expand the range of ports it has access to, and more importantly, strengthen ties with key players in the Lapset Corridor project. That is all for today. 
Thank you for watching and join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Festadis. Thank you.